Hi lovelies, you guys are welcome to another episode of Chidima and Late TV CEO Telecommunications in Nigeria, Mr. Michael Osifo Ataga. So in this video, you will be hearing the voice of Chief Abayomi Thomas, who is a legal practitioner in Nigeria where he detailed us about what has ensued between late Ataga's wife, who is Brenda Ataga, and Mr. Izu, who is the uncle of Chidima, the alleged lovers. So guys, in this video, there are still more updates of how Ataga was killed, the premises, the vehicle he drove down, to the apartment. Roll it. Amy Thomas, that's not a part of the wife. So by him alleging that the wife was also instrumental to all of these arrangements in collusion or collaboration. I will explain, yeah, with this, uh, I will explain with it yeah. without going too much into other areas. You see, I keep telling you, no matter what we have, we should be satisfied. Our African concept of marriage is the man and woman living together. But now, in this modern day, people think that they are trying to make common the wife stays far, the man stays far. I can tell you straight away, a man can still be uh, a girl, a man can still be his infidel or can involve himself in infidelity, even when the woman is beside him. And so then there's no justification for saying there's nothing wrong with it. justification. What's the justification? If a man can be this uh, man, man that it, he can honor the very yes, eyes yes. of his wife. But it becomes very easy. The latitude becomes unlimited. When both the man and the woman are not living together, the man is back to his bachelor life. <laughs> he is back to his bachelor lifestyle. As at the time, this is like happening. Mrs. Brenda Ataga was not in Lagos because of her job. Yeah. The man left home on Sunday. She has been in Abuja. For many years now, it has been the fact that the husband and Brenda have had a strange relationship. Right from when she joined NNPC. Right now, she's a national coordinator of the uh, offshore and the um, upstream and downstream uh, FPG. FPG, yeah. She is. So you can that. imagine she's occupying a very high level position. position in Abuja. But the story is that the man and the wife, the man got information that the wife was involved in extramarital affairs in Abuja. That led to their separation and the woman was no longer coming home from Abuja. But she was not divorced from the husband. Okay. She was not divorced. And Chidima had a man who was the younger brother of her father. Let me say uncle. Okay. Who put Chidima in the rest of Lagos, who was paying Chidima's school fees. And that's Mr. Izu. Now, the allegation and the pictures I have here, I have all the pictures here, okay. of Mr. Izu and Brenda kissing. They are different positions. I have all of them in my phone. Yeah, is there in the, in the social media Good. space? Yeah, is there the social media? I have all of them here. So, Brenda was no longer hiding the fact that Ataga is my legal husband, but I'm no more interested in Ataga. Yeah. So she was free with Izu in Abuja. Now, the point now came up early in December last year, when because of the love affair between Mr. Izu and Mrs. Brenda Ataga, they now got to the point of saying, let us get married. And the uh, uh, Brenda 
said, but I am still legally married. What do we do? And Izu was alleged. Izu was alleged to have come up with the idea. Why can't we get Mr. Taga in a very uncompromising situation where we can record his sexual activity since he has witnessed for fair complexion, beautiful ladies. If we get that one, we will use that as the evidence before the court to demand for divorce. So demand for divorce. Okay. That his conduct is intolerable. And the question there was, who do we use in Lagos? And Isu was alleged to have said, I have a cousin, I am paying her school fees in Lagos. And that is uh, Chidima. She's beautiful, she's seductive. All we need to do is get somebody to take her to a billionaire spot. Because I thought that was a billionaire. That was how they took a friend of hers was got to take her. Initially, Chidema was said to have said, no, I don't want to get involved with this kind of thing. But the man was paying her school fees. And she was now taken to a party in Banana Island where she was. You know how these guys arrange themselves? Yeah. She got, they got her close to Izu. Izu, a human, no, sorry, an Ataga. I thought that being a normal human being, even pastors these days fall to temptation. He saw Chidima beautiful. And I have pictures of Chidima here, even near the beach. What she was putting on, they said we will be tempted. <laughs> so I thought that now went for, for Chidima, not knowing that Chidima was a pet. That was how the relationship started in January, without knowing that Chidema was planted against him <coughs> to facilitate divorce in Abuja. And when Chidema was not delivering, when Chidema was not delivering, when she was not delivering, yeah. no results, he just stopped the surface. Okay. And said, until you deliver evidence. I will pay your school fees. So she could not go to school. That as it was at that moment, it was alleged that Izu told Chidima, get a place. I will send boys to cog the place. The place. There will be hidden cameras, everything in that apartment. Make sure all these things are done before you bring in Ataga. Ataga. So those things were done. She got there after Tata had paid, all those gadgets were put there, and every activity they were doing will be recorded. Okay, my semi Um, does this um, explains why the police authorities in Lagos have said that Chidima uh, may not have been the only person involved in this matter? Yes, in fact, they use the word and her cohorts. And our cohorts, they've, they've got they've gotten the point that she did not organize this herself. She did not have told them that look, I didn't want to do this thing, I didn't, I, I didn't even plan to kill this man. I was only carrying out a job to assist my uncle to get his girlfriend get a divorce and they will marry. But at that point, after the whole bugging of the place. The man invited the man to say, You can now come. Okay. And the man walked in. The man walked in. So, lovelies, it was a lengthy conversation between the guests and the host. So, things you never knew about late Michael Osifu Ataga. Michael Osifu Ataga was the founder and the chief executive officer of Super TV and a director in Super Network Limited, a telecoms firm. In Nigeria, he was a Nigerian businessman. Michael Osifo Ataga was born on June 19, 1971. He was gruesomely murdered and his alleged side chick has been arrested in relation to his deaths. 
all right so mike osifu ataga is married to one brenda ataga osifu a manager in nigerian national petroleum corporation nnpc which is one of the biggest oil firm in nigeria and report says that their marriage was blessed with children michael osifu ataga who is now late net worth is currently under review all right so what is money and everything he had in life that is the meaning of net worth is currently under review and late ataga who resides in banana island was reported missing on sunday june 13th 2021 by his family and friends after he didn't return to his home in banana island and he also didn't turn up at his victoria island office all efforts to reach the late ataga who would have turned 50 years old on june the 19th proved abortive and this caused distress to his wife and children who live in abuja unfortunately his lifeless body was found on friday morning june 18th 2021 in a flat in lucky phase one with multiple stab wounds thereafter several withdrawals has been made from his account by the said alleged chidima um ojuku who is a side chick all right so updates shows that his neck was broken hands were tied he was tortured to death after the result of autopsy came out so guys you can see the photos of the kitchen the bedroom and his range over kaji was taken to the police station That's, he drove to the said apartment in conclusion i will say the problem some people are facing today is because of trying to be whom they are not stop doing things because the other person did it you are not the same and you don't need that competitive life be yourself if not because the uncle who is izu had threatened to withdraw his financial hands on chidima who knows maybe she won't have gone that far all right so i have i've always been saying that this story about the disease and the side chick is still alive is in series so it's an episode a, a story so more will be coming okay my people so this is just an update from the family that the autopsy test is out and from the chief uh, also who talks about what he has seen he has as proof against them uh, when the brenda and the lover man is so my people will still update you guys as it unfolds all right so meanwhile the family of the disease has called for a thorough investigation into the mother and asked to be left alone to mourn their beloved son husband father and brother all right so that is how it is why lagos state commissioner of police akim odumuso said that the case will be charged to court as soon as investigation is concluded however items recovered from the suspect include complimentary cards access bank statement of account one nigeria passports with number b5001043 for belonging to the suspect one fake driver's license bearing mary johnson with the suspect's photograph one national identification card bearing the suspect's name one uba atm debit card bearing the suspect's name and one university of lagos identification card bearing the suspect's name so the suspect registered the hotel de lodge with an international number where did she get that from more details unfold